All right, the third one. That was a little tricky, made you, <laughs> and that little notation of 90 degree angle uh, actually turned out to be a crucial factor in finding the area of these identical triangles. But first, the area of a circle. The area of a circle, again, the formula is pi r squared. So therefore, that's going to be pi times the radius given from this center to the circumference, 9 units, which is 81 pi units squared. So that's the area of the entire circle. Now we're going to cut away two identical triangles. With the, if this is 90 degrees, by the definition of vertical angles or opposite angles, that has to be 90 as well. And since it is inscribed in a circle, we have a side angle side congruence theorem. So it's going to be identical triangles and area is going to be the same as well. So A is equal to for the triangle. Well, we know it's going to, oh, what's the formula for the triangle area? Yeah, it's one half base times height. And there's two of them, two identical ones. So times 2. And we could simplify the coefficient 1 half with the whole number 2. So they cancel out. Guess what? The area of the two triangles combined to become basically a square, length times width or base times height. Now, where do we get that base and height? Well, that radius 9, as it rotates, since it's rotating inside a circle, the radius is the same. So this is also a 9. And if that's a 9, this is a 9 as well. So therefore, it is 9 times 9, which is 81 unit square. So we have an area of a circle. We have an area of the two triangles that form a square. So we just have to evaluate what that pi is and then subtract 81 from it. So let's do that. So we're going to assume pi is 3.14, so 81 times 3.14, that's going to be 254.34 minus 81, which is a square. So therefore the area is, that's being thrown away, is going to be 173.34 units squared. That's the shaded area. That's a lot of waste, huh? So if you, if you thought, if you're kind of stumped with this particular question, and now that you see how it's done, maybe you could challenge yourself and try this one. Try that one. Find the area of a shaded region in red. Go ahead. Good luck.